Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World. My name is Daniel Rosal. This is the YouTube channel where I post my videos about everything related to technology, but specifically in recent years, well, this channel's only had a few videos uploaded, but the main focus is going to be on tech, uh, video and Ubuntu Linux because not a lot of people are using Linux in the grand scheme of things on the desktop. But among the Linux community, there are people who are into video, whether they're working as video editing professionals or just hobbyists like me on YouTube. And for the most part, video on Linux is good, but it does bring with it some unique challenges. So the one I want to talk about today is what uh, codecs are supportable with DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu. Now, previously... Um, I've, I've done three or four videos about how to transcode uh, what your camera produces. My, I use a Canon XA40. It produces um, uh, MP4s with AAC audio and H.264. Um, but whatever your, your camera produces, that may make the difference as to whether you can get the audio or video in DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu. Um, and this is all explained, this kind of mystifying process of why did this import? Why can't I see the audio on this clip is understandable if you just refer to DaVinci's own documentation. So these are two documents I found floating around the internet. Um, this is the nicer looking PDF, but there is, they also put this one out. This is for DaVinci 16. I see this is for DaVinci 15. So this is a bit more modern. And this document is called Supported Formats and Codecs for DaVinci Resolve. And it's an April 2020 document, just to be aware. Currently, there's DaVinci 18. So I presume there is a newer one of these. But just for the moment, um, if I find a newer one, I'll put a link in the description. But I just want to explain how to refer to these documents. So they break down according to operating system. Mac, Windows, and Linux. And for this channel, we'll keep focus on Linux. For Linux, they've chosen their target distro or their model distro as CentOS 7.3. Even though in my experience using DaVinci on Ubuntu, it's all the same. Everything they say will work and will not work. It's the same level of support. Now, when we're talking about what's going to work, I'm just going to put my notepad up for a moment. And I think everyone who knows, is watching this video probably knows this, but you have codecs for audio and video. You have containers and those containers are in formats and those are three separate things. So basically for DaVinci Resolve, what really matters is the audio and video codecs. We want to make sure they can be worked with. Um, and they will be put, they will be recorded into um, with a container into a certain kind of format like MOV or MP4. Let's jump to Linux. Now, these tables explain essentially everything. Um, decode is what can be brought into DaVinci Resolve, imported, if you want to use that word. Encode is is what you can encode to in DaVinci Resolve. And codec pass through, I'm not going to tackle because I'm not exactly sure what it means, but there's a footnote there um, and you can learn uh, indicates if codec renderers can be sped up by using the original source video essence if there are no effects or color changes to the clip. Now, for um, DaVinci, the support's a little bit different depending on whether you have the paid or the free version. Um, So there is DaVinci Resolve, which is the free version, and there is DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is the paid version. So you can see a very, very important note here under H.264 and H.265, probably the most common video codecs you're going to see on not like high-end Hollywood cinematograph cinematographic camcorders are these two codecs. And the note here for decode is studio only and the GPU accelerated on an NVIDIA cards, right? So if you have the free one, you're not going to be able to get, you're going to, you're going to try to import, let's say you're using MP4s, right? This is a codec, this is the container. You have some MP4s from your camcorder and the video codecs H.264. If you have the free DaVinci, you're not going to be able to see them. Uh, you may be able to hear them if the audio codec supported, um, but uh, you may need to transcode both video and audio codecs if uh, if you're not on the paid version. So then we have within here DNXHD, very important industry um, industry format. We have Apple ProRes support for decoding, Cintel RAW, H.264, H.265, MPEG. 
decoding for these um, specific uh, codecs, MPG2 for an MPEG IMX variants. For Panasonic, we have some proprietary more, and now we're getting into much more complicated stuff. It says for red, it will um, decode if you have yes, and it will be GP, GPU accelerated. For Sony, XFVC and XFAC Intra and XD cam, these are all supported with in, in the MOV container. And you can go through the different uh, formats slash containers to see if your specific codec is supported. Let's go now to the uh, audio. We're going to skip over still formats. Audio. Okay. So we can see, for instance, that here's a common point of slip up, right? AAC, when I took my video clips off my, my Canon XA40 Pro Camcorder, does on the on the most common setting h.264 for audio and um h.264 for video sorry and aac for audio and as you can see this the audio will not work i need to uh transcode the audio into some other codec because we can see there's a hyphen here under aac it is neither supported for decoding nor in, for neither decoding nor encoding as well as mp3 so let's stick to the decode column here and let's look at what actually is supported, right? Because it's more important. Ideally, if you can configure your camcorder in a way that you can say, okay, I want my sound to be encoded in WAV, independent, uncompressed PCM, uncompressed sound, 16, 24, 32 bits, um, then that is more ideal because then you'll, you won't need to do transcoding if you don't want to. So that's essentially, and you can see for uh, free lossless audio control, uh, the FLAC, uh, FLAC audio, we're going to be having uh, decoding. Now, the final thing I wanted to show in this video is here's a quick way to tell if you just get a file off your camcorder and you're like, well, what, what codec and what, what video codec, what audio codec. As I always say for Ubuntu, there's probably many ways to achieve achieve this uh, but here is one way i made this clip this morning testing out a microphone so i'm going to open it up in vlc i'm just going to pause it here and under view under tools there is codec information and you can also use the the keyboard shortcut control plus j and as you can see this now tells me uh, what codecs I'm using here for this video. And you can see stream zero, right? There's two codecs, one for video, one for audio. And VLC labels them as streams. For stream zero, it, the, the, which this is a video stream, it's the H.264 codec. More specific details about the codec. 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames per second. Color, color info, etc. And we can see for the audio, we are using AAC MP4A MPEG AAC audio codec, and as I mentioned before, uh, we know from Blackmagic's documentation that that's not going to work out of the box for importing to DaVinci Resolve on Linux. And therefore, if I were to import this clip to my paid DaVinci, I'd be able to see myself because the video codec is fine, but I wouldn't be able to hear myself because the audio codec is not supported. It's AAC. However, after transcoding the file to an audio, and you can just transcode the audio codec while preserving the video codec, then it would work and I can import those into my clip in and begin editing. Hope that's been useful. I know there was a lot of detail. If you are using DaVinci Resolve um, on Ubuntu Linux or another Linux distro and you're a bit confused about, well, what formats and what's gonna work, the essential TLDR or too long didn't watch TLDW here is that you need to make sure that the video and audio codecs are supported. And once that's the case, you should be fine. If that's not the case, you need to do some transcoding before uh, being able to work with them in DaVinci on Ubuntu. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.